Do you want your kicks to sound louder, to really come through the mix a lot punchier? This is something that you would like to learn. Stay tuned and don't go away. All right, and welcome, welcome back. Before I start, let me just give a quick shout out to StudioLinked.com. Now, this individual does some tutorials with the VSTs that he sells. And uh, through these tutorials, I learn how to make your kick sound louder in your mix. So thank you very much, Studio Linked. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So uh, I used a kick that comes already included with LMMS. So uh, to go to your kicks, you go to my sample. Then from there, you go to John Synth. And then I went all the way down and I chose the TR-606 and I picked this kick and this snare. And then I made a little uh, loop right here. So let's take a listen to the loop real quick. All right, so you can hear the kick. It sounds okay, but it doesn't really come through uh, punchy and a little bit stronger. So to do that is very, very simple. What you do is you go right here where it says action for this track, you click on it and you clone it once, click again and clone it twice. Now let's bring it up and put the kicks right next to each other. And now you see we got three kicks and one snare. And to make it louder, what you do is you take your pan and pan one to the right, take the other pan and pan it all the way to the left. Now let's take a listen. It's more in your face. And let's listen to this again without this. Let's listen to it with it on. As you can hear, the kick comes out a little bit stronger. It comes a little bit more uh, through the mix and a little bit more punchier as well. Now, obviously you have to do a little bit more VQing to this to make it sound a lot better, but this is one way to make your kick stand out through the mix. I hope that you like this video. I really hope that you learned something new and thank you, thank you very much for watching and have a blessed, blessed day.